Hey, Frankie, hurry up and reply to me already. How much longer do you plan to keep me waiting? Huh? What do you think about the wedding venue I just sent you? Do you think it's a bit too nice looking? But you only have one chance in life to give a wedding, so it's best to go all out, right? Do you think paying around 100000 for it would be fine? <laughs> I really do not care about you guys' wedding. I'm asking you to please just leave me alone and never send me these annoying text messages again. Huh? Aren't you being a little rude, calling my messages annoying? This is all about your important little sister's wedding. I think you meant to say sly little backstabbing sister, right? I cannot believe that you are going to marry Grant. Well, of course I'm going to be marrying him. <laughs> After all, he and I are like two peas in a pod and are inseparable. And by the way, how long are you going to carry on being upset with us? All of that built-up hate you have is not great to carry around and will only make your life more miserable. <laughs> huh? I get that you want to act like the victim here after having your first ever boyfriend stolen from you. But you never really had him stolen in the first place, right? <laughs> he came to me saying how much he loved me and I just said okay to him. Yet you continue to call me a little backstabbing sister all the time. That is so rude of you. It's weird that you phrase it as if you're only saying okay to him. If you had any respect for yourself and your sister at that moment, then you should have said no and told me about what happened. It's not okay to say okay to your own sister's boyfriend like that. But you did that anyway, and then you continued to go out with him behind my back for some time. Well, having him tell me he loved me was something I only ever dreamed about happening. He told me about how much he's always been in love with me and that he would much rather have me over you. It was so amazing how hot that confession was to me. I couldn't even think for a second before I went and said okay. Huh? I'm sure hearing all of that is like salt on a wound to you now, right? You had finally gotten yourself your first ever boyfriend, yet it turned out he only ever started dating you in order to get closer to me. <laughs> of course, I also had a boyfriend at the time, so his only option was to settle for you and wait on me. <laughs> it was nice of him to say you have a pretty face like mine since we're twins, but he told you that I am the far better choice in terms of character. <laughs> that was a bit rude for him to say, right? It really was. I had never noticed something going on behind the scenes, and had even talked with him about everything like marriage and having kids. So strange, though, at that moment you left your boyfriend. He would go to you and confess how much he's in love with you. From my point of view, you both were in on this the whole time, and I consider the two of you complete and utter jerks for that. The worst that mankind has to offer, really. And that's why I said this. <laughs> I said, you can't keep acting like the victim here. You should feel lucky that you ended up with the same face as me. And had you just understood what was going on, you could have avoided all the heartache and just let me have him. But you never noticed he had feelings for me, and that's what led to him having to throw you aside. You can be all upset about it until the end of time if you want, but just don't hold it against us. And if you're jealous of me now because I get to marry him, you should stop that too. <laughs> I understand that it's natural to be jealous of me, but I'm sure someday you'll be able to find another man. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> we both happen to have the same face, but man is my personality way better than yours. There's me, who's had all these friends ever since I was young and was never dumped by any guys in my life. And then there's the dark little pouting girl who never had anybody love her. You. <laughs> you have to understand that Grant would never want to love someone like that. <laughs> Talking to you is only raising my blood pressure even further and hasn't given me a terrible headache, so let's be done here. I'm asking you to please just leave me alone forever. Go ahead and have your marriage with Grant if you want. But leave me out of all of that. There is literally no benefit to belittling me on and on like this. You don't have to tell me to go ahead and marry him. I was going to marry him whether you wanted me to or not. <laughs> but you're still going to come to our wedding for me, right? I have to have you give me a lot of money as a gift or else I'll never be able to afford what I want. <laughs> give you a gift. 
That wedding venue that I just sent you the link to happens to cost a lot of money. However, neither Grant or I have that much money saved up to be able to afford it. And it would be embarrassing for the both of us to have to beg our parents for money, right? So instead of having our parents give us money, we need you to pay for us. <laughs> would you shut up already? I'm not going to that wedding of yours, and I'm not giving you any money as a gift. <laughs> so the wedding venue has already been decided on, then. The fact that the two of you were able to get back together is one thing, but now that you both will be getting married has made me very happy. What? Sonny? It's been too long since we last spoke to one another. How are things with you, Frankie? I was so happy to hear the news that I decided to talk to you again today. I was really shocked to hear about how you and Grant had broken up and all that. I didn't get to hear about all of it, but I'm sure my stupid son was the reason for that, right? However, the fact that you've forgiven my stupid son is very thoughtful of you, and I'm thankful for that. I'm going to make sure to celebrate your wedding with all my energy. Uh, um, Sonny, I'm sorry to have to tell you this while you're so happy. I didn't get back together with Grant. What? But you're going to get married, right? I was told by Grant just yesterday that he had chosen the place where he plans to have the wedding. Then he showed me a picture of you and him in a dress and tuxedo as you two started to go out looking for what you wanted to wear. So you haven't heard anything else from Grant about himself, then? The woman that Grant is planning on marrying now isn't me. That would be my little sister. She's my twin. Grant and I have not gotten back together, and I don't think we ever will. What? Your twin? Your little sister? I'm so sorry that you got your hopes up like that. Wait, wait, wait. What? Is that really your twin, then? Oh, I knew for a while that you always had a little sister, but she's your twin? Yeah. And actually, we both happen to be identical twins. Our faces and everything looks very much alike. Actually, they are indistinguishable to most people. That's probably the reason why you thought that that was me in the picture you were shown. What? No way. Something like this is not possible. I've never heard of a man going out with his ex's little sister right after they've broken up. I... I had just thought that it was you in the picture when I saw it. So Grant never told you a thing about what happened after the breakup. It so happens that the reason for the breakup is due to him and my little sister. What? What do you mean by that? From the start, it seems that Grant was always into my little sister. But unlike myself, my sister's been very popular and has had herself many boyfriends in the past. And at that time, she had already had herself a boyfriend, so Grant settled with me since our faces are the same. He told her later that even if I wasn't her, we shared the same face and that would have to do. Excuse me? Of course, at the same time, I never knew anything about his true intentions and continued dating him, thinking he actually loved me. While we were dating, my little sister broke up with her then-boyfriend. Since that was the chance Grant needed, he went to her and confessed how much he loved her. My little sister then said okay to him, and he left me for her. That's why in the end, we had to break up. No, no way. My frickin' dumbass of a son has done something really bad this time. I never thought he could do something so depraved as that to you, uh, to anyone. I understand how much you liked me when I was dating your son, and I've always been on my side wanting for Grant and I to get back together. But that's never going to happen after all this. I'm sorry. You should not be apologizing to me for any of that. I should be the one apologizing to you for him. I'm so sorry about that idiot. I should have done better raising that brat. Uh, something like that. What the hell was he thinking doing that to someone like you? I don't think you need to apologize for him either. Neither of us should. Right now, I've completely given up on those two and no longer want anything to do with them. It's been a year now since the breakup. But what's happened here is just unforgivable. Ugh, that's it. As a way of making things up to you for my idiot son, I'm going to give you some tickets to one of the upcoming DTS concerts. I was actually thinking that the two of us would have a chance to go together now, and that's why I bought them. What? 
Did you? Did you really have a chance to buy a couple of tickets to that concert? It was sold out within minutes when I went online to buy them. I got two of them, luckily. I thought that this would be the chance for you and I to finally go see them live as a treat for you and my son getting back together, but... So I'm just going to give these tickets to you as a sorry for what that idiot did. Take one of your best friends with you and go enjoy that concert. That would be a waste, though. If you can still handle being around me, let's both you and I go together. We'd always been talking about going to one of their concerts together back when I was with Grant, right? But, but you're his ex-girlfriend, and you ended up being left by him over a very terrible reason. I'm the mother of that stupid little brat, right? Would you really want to go to a concert like that with me? No way, not at all. I want for the two of us to go there together. To tell you the truth, ever since I was dumped by Grant, I've been wondering what's been going on with you. We've become so close together because we both love DTS so much, right? Ever since the breakup, I've been pretty lonely again and not many people to hang out with that are like you. S saying something like that to me is so kind. Oh, I'm so happy. From now on, let's forget Grant. Just continue our time together as close friends. Actually, since you're so close to me, I have something I'd really like to tell you. Oh my, what could it be? I'll have to tell you in person, okay? Well, sounds great. I'll send you those tickets here soon, as well as all the information for the concert. We can meet a little bit before the concert to have coffee, and you can tell me all about what you have to say. That'd be perfect. I'll be waiting for the concert information. Hey, Frankie, you're way late. Don't be this late for your own little sister's wedding, all right? Hurry up and get here as soon as possible. Huh? What wedding are you talking about again? Huh? What is with that reaction? Before I contacted you about all of that, I gave you the date and the time and the location, right? I never replied anything to that message, though I didn't even say that I'd be going. You think I'm actually going to believe a childish excuse like that from you? <laughs> it's a bit screwed up not to come to one of your own family member's weddings. I'm not going to mess around with you today, so just hurry up and come. I'm going to be paying for this wedding today, so all of the staff here are patiently waiting for you to come with that gift of money for me. What? So you told them that you'd pay for the wedding on your wedding day? Normally wouldn't one pay for their wedding weeks in advance so that they didn't have to worry about it anymore? And our wedding altogether is going to cost around 100000 We don't have that kind of money to just hand over. So hurry up and bring us that money. What? At the very worst, we're expecting to get around 10000 out of you, so if that turns out to be the case, we'll just barely be able to pay for this wedding. So that gift has to have at least 10000 in it. At least $10,000? You happen to be related to the bride, and you were once dating the groom, right? <laughs> you have a lot of history with the two of us. So I'm sure 10000 is totally worth it for all of that fun history we've shared with you. But of course, it wouldn't be wrong to expect anywhere from 30000 from you, right? <laughs> what fun history? Are you really asking me to come to that wedding only to pay for part of it for you? Tell me, how much money have you gotten already in order to help pay for your wedding? And I mean how much of that money was gifted to you. Um, well, we're expecting at least 10000 from you, and then there's the 20000 from both my parents and Grant's parents. Then there'll be the money from any other family members and friends, as well as the small amount we have in our savings. That should come out to around 100000 we're thinking. You think you'd be able to get that kind of money from pretty much just wedding gifts? I happen to have a lot of friends, so there will be tons of them coming today. And since both Grant and I are loved by our parents, we expect a ton of money from them as well. So there isn't going to be any problem for us as long as you hurry up and come here with your gift to us. So you haven't actually gotten any of that money yet. You're just expecting those amounts to come in today. Of course that's how much they'll all be giving us. I know we don't have any of that money here just yet, but it's coming. No, you need to come here and give us at least 10000 as well, okay? 
Then once we have everyone's gifts all together today, we can hand that money over to the staff and have them handle the rest. All those people you just said you invited? Yeah, they've all come out to my wedding today. What? So I'm not sure I'll be able to bring you any gifts today, and neither will the rest of these people. So you're going to have to find another way to pay for your wedding now. Also $10,000 from me? <laughs> and $20,000 from both our parents and grants? That would never happen, okay? You really did a number on yourselves this time, making up such ridiculously high numbers like that in your head. Wait, wait a second. What do you mean everyone is at your wedding? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I never told you anything about this, of course. You had no idea. Actually, today is the day of my wedding. Huh? Your wedding? Just what should be expected of twins, having their weddings on the same day, even. <laughs> what fun! What? Wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about? If you're having a wedding as well, who are you getting married to today? Grant has been going out with me, and we're having our wedding today. Who would want to marry that dumbass guy? I'm getting married today to a man I started dating after Grant. He would never settle for me like Grant, and he told me I'm the only one that he loves and will ever love, and it shows. Huh? Frankie, after being thrown away by a guy like Grant, you were able to find yourself a new boyfriend? Yeah, someone from my work. He came and confessed to me after work one day. We planned to get married to one another not too long after we started dating, but I made very sure not to ever tell you about it. Today is our one-year anniversary, actually. I... I have no idea what's going on here. I am your family, so you shouldn't have to hide something like that from me. Why did you never tell me about getting a new boyfriend? You left me out of the loop. When it came to my normal family, I went and told all of them the good news. But you happen to be my little sister that thinks it's okay to steal her older sister's boyfriend. You think I'd ever want to tell a waste of sister like you about the happy things that have been turning out for me? What? What the hell? I thought you had been so destroyed from having Grant taken from you by me, yet this whole time you've been happy? How the hell did you get another man like that? And now you're getting married today? Who the hell said you could do that? I did. I didn't have to listen to a little witch that steals her sister's boyfriend from her and then hides the fact from all of her family. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? Well, good luck with that $100,000 wedding you have there, okay? Huh? By, by the way, what did you mean by everyone is going to your wedding? So far, I haven't been able to get anything from mom and dad. Actually, not a single person has shown up to my wedding yet. Don't tell me that they all chose to go to your wedding over mine. Even Grant's mom is here. Huh? She happens to be a good friend of mine and wanted to see my wedding today. We're both very close friends after all and really enjoy going to concerts together now. She was really happy to have me invite her to my cute little wedding today. Stop messing around already! Why the hell would my fiancé's mom be going to your wedding today? That is completely screwed up on so many levels. Say whatever you'd like about that, but she's the one that gets to decide which wedding she wants to go to. And that's the same thing when it comes to mom and dad. All of them knew that my wedding would be taking place on the same day as your wedding, so it was all up to them to choose which wedding they all wanted to go to. What, what the hell? There is no way this is actually happening. Uh, but when it comes to friends, I don't have too many of them, so I didn't really say anything. So that must mean all of your friends should still be going to your wedding, right? It was really helpful that you were so popular back in school, right? There is no point if only my friends come today. I was going to use all the money I'm gifted today to pay for this wedding. I have to get over $10,000 today. But my friends will never be able to give me that kind of money today. Well, let's hope one of them hit the jackpot and is feeling very generous today. Now I have my wedding to get to, so goodbye. Let the both of us twins have a wonderful day at our weddings today. I noticed that all the songs you had today were from DTS, and that was awesome. I would have loved to have had a wedding like that back in my day. And that wedding dress you had on today. Oh, it made you look like a goddess with how well it matched your body. I should be the one thanking you as well. I never thought I'd be getting a surprise message like that from DTS today themselves. And the fact that you put all of that together for me, I'm so thankful. I'm still so happy about all of that. I'm shaking while I'm texting you. Oh, <laughs> 
I'm sure you are after a day like today. I didn't actually know that DTS would be doing all of that for you, though. I just sent them a message online saying that I have a very special friend getting married soon and that she deserves a special treat from them. That was so amazing of you, Sunny. Thank you so, so, so much for doing all of that for me. But really, was it really okay for you to do all of this for me? I'm not talking about all the stuff you did for me regarding the concerts and DTS, but the other two. All day today, my phone has been getting blown up by both Grant and Alexa. Is it really okay for you to not go to those two's weddings? Of course it's fine. I didn't want to go see that dumbass have a wedding today. <laughs> And had I gone over to their wedding today, I would have never been able to show you that message from DTS, right? I would much rather have fun showing you that stuff from our favorite group than go see my son. Thank you so much, Sunny. Also, to get those two to stop texting and calling me, I blocked the both of them. So there was nothing bothering me all day today. Thank you so much again for making your way out to my wedding instead of theirs. Even after this, I'm hoping to go to so many more concerts with you. I'm wishing for the same thing, Frankie. Now I'll text you the next time I have a day off and we can get some coffee again. Help me, Frankie. If you don't come and help me, then we are both going to be in so much debt and we'll be in debt hell. I want you to lend me some money right now. Huh? This wedding was supposed to be paid for with all the money you all were supposed to gift me. Yet the only people that came to my wedding were my friends. And since there were only my friends there and some of Grant's distant family, he started to freak out and worry about me a little. He thought there was going to be some kind of trouble and left me at the wedding all by myself. And after he ran off, then everyone else started to get up and leave, taking their gifts for me with them. So, what ended up happening yesterday with your wedding? You barely had any people show up, leaving just the two of you before Grant ran off, right? You think there was still a wedding after all that? We had to cancel the wedding right then and there, and I had to take off that wonderful dress I had on. Dang. But even though the wedding was canceled, I am still expected to pay the full price of it. They told me to pay them $100,000 for that wedding, even though it never happened. Well, that's how it works. Wedding venue still had to put in all that effort to set up the wedding for you, as well as cook all the food for everyone's meals and get all those flowers and decorations. So after that, I freaked out even more and called Mom as quickly as I could. No matter how much I begged to them to give me some money, neither her or Dad would hand me a single penny. And when I tried to get in touch with Grant's mom, I learned that she had blocked me already. I ran back home to mom and dad then, and when I opened the door to talk to them, they threw water all over me and forced me away. Nobody is listening to a single thing I want to say. Oh no, so not even Sunny wants to listen to you? I suppose she's really that good of a person. I thought that since you and I were twins, I could make something work. So I went to her house as well, acting like I was you, since you and I look the same. I begged and begged and begged for her help with my little sister and her wedding costs. Yet she told me that I looked nothing like you and I made her want to vomit before she too threw water all over me. Oh my, oh my. Just listening to all this is getting me so excited. I might have been the one to get married yesterday, but man do I want to cheer for Sunny right now. This is not the time for those stupid jokes, Frankie. Just do something to help me already. You two and I are twins, so do something to help. Grant is even with me right now asking for you to help us. You would never throw the two of us away, right? You still have feelings for Grant and I'm your twin sister. I'm sure you got lots of money at your wedding as well, so you can hand us a little, right? All of that money I was gifted came from people's hearts yesterday, and that's very important to me. So I would never give such meaningful gifts to either of you. I really don't care that you're both going to hell now with all that debt. You and that man you love, well, you guys just do your best there. What? Y you're really not going to help us? I I'm your only sister, right? Actually, I'm your identical twin. Bye-bye, Alexa. Starting right now, I'm going on my honeymoon with my husband. 
You're lying. Your sister with the same face as you is having a hard enough time right now. You have no right going on a honeymoon at a time like this. I don't give a dang about your problems, you idiot. Now good luck to your new life being married with all that debt. And right after that, those two went ahead and took on a lot of debt, boring money, and used that money to pay off the $100,000 wedding. Because of that, they were both left with completely nothing in their bank accounts, and they went to their parents begging to be allowed back home. However, not a single person, not Mom and Dad, nor Sunny and her husband, let them come back home. And actually, Grant was told that day by Sunny that she was disowning him, so he was never let around his parents again. This then led to Alexa going around to all of her friends asking for someone to let her and her husband stay with them, and every single one of them said that they'd been lied to. Alexa was telling them that she'd never known Grant before they started dating, however all of her friends heard about how she stole him from her sister, and that left some sour taste in their mouth. They all would then tell Alexa that they did not want a couple like that in their place with them, and they turned them both away. After a life full of being so popular and having so many friends to rely on, Alexa was in shock because all of her friends now abandoning her, which soon led to her becoming very depressed and secluded. Her and Grant now have a very cheap, run-down apartment together where Alexa hides all day, never setting another foot outside the front door.